What interested and enticed us about this production was the fact that we were presented with an opportunity to reinvent the franchise. The idea of being able to like get in on the ground level and sort of write the new backstory and just be adjacent to the original film and you know have everything I do dovetail into what the original did um, was just you know, super exciting. It was the opportunity to almost go behind the scenes and to the beginning of how Leatherface was created. What happened? Who is Leatherface? And how did the whole character sort of, you know, come to be? Looking at the original and reading a lot of interviews with Toby Hooper and Ann Gunner, who played uh, Leatherface originally, they both said that Leatherface didn't really exist without his masks. His masks were what defined him. And he has three different masks in the original, each that kind of give him a different personality. So just given that and given some of the things he does and some of his quirks, I really wanted to like figure out like what was the, the genesis of that. Without giving anything away, you know, it starts out very much a linear story about these, um, these brutal children, you know, uh, on this Sawyer farm. And then, you know, they're sent away to a hospital after some stuff happens and then they get out. And uh, it's really a survival film for my character and for and, and, and a retribution film for Hartman, who I play. But it definitely has the moments of some sick stuff going on. And then I think uh, you realize this family's not to be messed with. You want to stay clear away from the Sawyers, not confront them. What attracted me to Leatherface was really talking with the directors, with Alex and Julian, um, when they told me they wanted to do something that was a cross between Terrence Malick, uh, like Badlands and Virgin Suicides, I thought, I'm there. Um, because what I love is this stuff that's happening with people pushing a genre as far as they can push it. And it's exciting to me. When we first received the script, of course, it's not every day that you, uh, you have the opportunity to see, you know, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Leatherface on the front page. And we were very surprised in a, in a good way that um, this script is uh, taking different path and it's uh, quite original. In developing the script with the directors was actually just super easy. We knew what we wanted to do from the start and they got it and they were right along with me. I didn't have the farmhouse in it a lot and they're like, if we're gonna build this set and this is a famous farmhouse, we should use it. And I, and I totally agreed with that. Um, so we, you know, moved the third act to taking place mostly at the farmhouse. Before shooting, I was very exciting about the, the, um, the Sawyer farm. Uh, I mean, the interior scene because it's, uh, it's a mythic set. It's a real house that have been shot for uh, many times, but we cannot see it very well. It's always a little bit uh, hidden or dark and everything. So it was really impressive to get into this process and and also to to yeah to to be a link with the other guys that have been shot in this kind of uh, of set so that was very exciting for us we discussed uh, a long time ago before shooting with our dop antoine sagné on uh, how can we do something original and powerful and uh, and uh, without uh, being like copycat of toby zopper's movie so we have made a lot of research to try to find a way to, to make something more visually powerful and beautiful. Julian and Alex walked in and they just had the absolute perfect vision for the film. And they had this edge to, to their storytelling. I felt like with these directors, they were going to definitely bring a visceral storytelling aspect as well as deliver those iconic hopefully really scary moments, you know, because the horror fans are smart and with a franchise also as big as Texas Chainsaw Massacre, uh, you want to stand out and I hope this movie is a refreshing, because the prequel's never been done, I like, I really love that aspect of the screenplay that it was started in the 50s and then it jumps 10 years. And so I hope, uh, I think with all the different elements, the makeup, the effects they'll add in later, um, the cutting, the music, the sound effects, Hopefully we have a movie that scares the hell out of people. Yeah.